Hey everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. This is my post-market wrap-up for this Thursday, August 1st, 2019. Closing bell literally just went off. I have a lot of stuff I want to cover in this video, and I think this actually may be one of the most important ones I've ever done. I'm going to put this entire thing together for you in a timeline kind of a fashion just over the past couple of days so you can understand how you are now a pawn in a very dangerous, despicable game. It's the truth. Um, so let's talk about it. This market had a, a ride literally into the pit of hell. And I'm being in a, a, a literal sense because that's where we're going here. Let's talk about that. Um, stocks were off to the races this morning. Most of you know that. The video I did this morning. Uh, high for the Dow was around 280 or so. Well, we finished in the negative 280 after it was announced that the president is going to hit China with more tariffs. Now, let me start off with this. How many of you believe it is just a coincidence that just yesterday the Federal Reserve cuts 25 basis points and today, today, the president announces uh, that he's going to hit China with more tariffs? This was done strategically, and this is how, again, you are being used as a pawn. Uh, and I want to put a, a little light on this again. So it's no secret. Um, our president was, he came out, tweeted about it, uh, spoke about it on live TV, how he, how he was very unhappy that the Federal Reserve only cut 25 basis points. Again, the middle class is being decimated absolutely decimated, um, being forced to subsidize the stock market by, pe by being paid interest less than the actual, way less than the actual rate of inflation on their interest earning accounts. These accounts held by the middle class historically have put literally trillions of dollars into the pockets of the middle class. Now, in order for the middle class to survive, they're borrowing beyond their eyeballs. The middle class is under a terrible, terrible assault. And I have been warning those of you out there that are part of the middle class um, that you, you're in a lot of trouble in this environment. So let me back up a moment. So yesterday, the Federal Reserve cuts 25 basis points. Our, pe our president was calling for a 100 basis point cut. Again, this would not help the middle class whatsoever. However, it would boost the stock market. Um, he was unhappy about it. So today, the day after the Fed announces their 25 basis point cut, he uh, announces that he's going to hit China with more tariffs because the China trade talks have failed, which were going well on Monday. It's a joke. Okay. But again, why was this done now? And why was this a strategic move? Okay. The president realizes that by hitting China with more tariffs, it's going to hurt the U.S. economy, which is already in free fall. I mean, I've covered this just today alone. Uh, the ISM, the Manufacturing Index, uh, the um, Market, uh, PMI. I mean, we're talking about a, a low that we haven't seen since 2009. Our economy is in free fall. So why would our president do this? Because he understands the ramifications or the ripple effect of it. Again, let me put a perspective on this for you, all right? Number one, China is not paying the tariffs. You're going to hear that it is out of the president's mouth, but we, we already heard from Larry Kudlow and a couple of other people, uh, and from me, from the very beginning, from the very beginning, I told you China would not be paying the tariffs. Who's paying the tariffs? The tariffs are being paid by the importers and exporters, okay? And then those costs are being passed on to you. Now, let me prove my point right here and right now, almost in real time. The retail sector today of the market got slammed. Why did the retail sector get slammed today? Because again, prices are going to go up. And who's paying for it? You are. Okay? That's how it works. So the president here is kind of forcing the Fed's hand in a way, actually directly, 
uh, strategically to lower rates further. Now, I've explained to you uh, before most people, probably one of the first guys out here, that the cut yesterday was the beginning of a series of cuts. I've explained to you for a very long time this is the way it's going to happen. And we are going in, into the negative. Now, our president here is using you as a pawn in this environment because, number one, he realizes that China is not paying the tariffs, although he's going to tell you they are. Um, and those costs are being passed on to you. But most people don't get it. They don't understand it. They, they think that China is paying the tariffs. They have no idea the mechanism. So, I mean, the fact that he did this today after the Fed cut yesterday should be as plain as day to you that now the Federal Reserve, because they realize that hitting China now with, these, with this new round of tariffs is going to slow the economy, the Fed is going to have to uh, lower rates harder, faster, and, like I've been explaining to you, begin a dollar devaluation. This is why the middle class is being used as a pawn in a game. It's a political game, and it's not in your favor whatsoever. It's a terrible thing that the president is now doing. Now, let me elaborate further, okay? So our president will maintain the lie, and it's a 100% lie, that we're taking in billions from China, okay? We are not taking in billions from China. This is how uh, this is going to play out right now. It's very, very simple, but you will not hear him talk about it. So the silence, again, is deafening. Most of you understand what the trade gap is or, or a trade deficit. If you're not sure, please just Google it. Being that we are now going to hit China with more tariffs, that the trade gap is going to get wider and wider. We're all, it's already costing the United States hundreds of billions because of the trade gap between the United States and China. Now that we've increased tariffs, this gap is going to get wider. So when you hear the president explain to you or try to, to the American people that we're taking in billions, understand that he knows for a fact that he is lying to you because you are being not just used as a pawn, but as a puppet in a show. Understand that. He is the puppet master right now. But the puppets are you. You're the puppet here. Understand? Now, most people are not going to be able to put this together. So let's put a timeline again real quick. Uh, on Monday, China trade talks were going well, right out of the president's mouth. Then we find out they're not going so well. Now they're, they failed. Now, yesterday, we get a 25 basis point cut by the Fed. President very unhappy. He wants more easy money into this market. He wants you if you're a member of the middle class, to continue to subsidize the stock market. Period. The end. You're being robbed beyond your eyeballs, beyond anything you can imagine right now. It's grand theft on a scale that he should be in handcuffs. It's the truth. But again, it's a strategic move. Uh, and that happened today where he said, okay, now we're going to hit China with more tariffs because now we understand the Fed must act. So he's using a roundabout way it's kind of smart in a way. Um, but again, who's going to pay for it? You are. China's not going to pay for it. Again, retail sector got slammed today. Why? Because the prices are going up. Who's going to pay for it? You are. You see, you're getting robbed blind from every angle that you can possibly think about. And then the next phase, which I explained, I think, yesterday, is dollar devaluation. Understand, there, there's a, a mechanism here to completely and absolutely eliminate the middle class. We, we already have a two-tier society in many, many ways. Members of the middle class have never carried a debt burden like they are now just to make ends meet. And trillions of dollars that would have been in their pockets had they been getting a real rate of return, had interest rates not being artificially suppressed and our president wants them suppressed even further, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable the attack on the middle class and people walk around like zombies. They have no idea how this works. They have no idea what's happening to them. They play right into the game. You're a pawn. You are being made to look like a fool, be a fool, and you are being puppetized by this president here, whom I voted for, 
whom I supported and I regret to the highest order because the guy that is in the White House is not the guy that campaigned. You all know that. Um, all right, so I hope you understand what these concepts I've covered. I hope they make sense to you. Now, uh, I also hope you like my uh, rendition here of a lion. I drew that earlier today. TradersChoice.net, where lions run free. I mean that. Everything is free on my website for you to try to capitalize on the disaster that is at your doorstep here. Um, I don't know what to tell you other than if you are a middle, a middle class person, you need to do everything you possibly can right now. Uh, to make this system not work against you, but work for you. And I don't think there's a guy on YouTube, or anywhere for that matter, who is working harder at trying to make this a reality for you than me. I mean, I really don't. Everything I do is for your benefit. It's the truth. I want us to succeed. I want us to understand what's happening in this environment. I want you to know that you are a pawn in a terrible game of deception. A terrible game of deception that is being played on you by the President of the United States and the world is watching. The world is watching. Unfortunately, people here in the United States are so dumbed down they have no idea what's happening to them. This is usually the case throughout history. But I don't think people in other parts of the world are as stupid. I really don't. I think the stupidest population by far exists here in the United States. They've been deliberately dumbed down. And that's another reason why I come out here and explain these concepts to you. Put a little light on what's going on. And I, I can't stress to you the urgency here for you. Again, if you're a member of the middle class, um, you're in all kinds of trouble, beyond that you can imagine. Um, seriously, you know how this is going to play out. World Central Banks and the Federal Reserve will be forced to make another move. Again, even without what the President just did, um, the Fed was going to lower rates. Now they're going to have to lower rates harder, faster, and devalue the dollar. So, again, Let's look at just the retail sector, which got hammered today. Those costs, the reason why they, they went down is because you're going to be paying more for that. Now, if the dollar also gets hit, you'll be paying even more. Do you understand? And if the president gets his wish um, of further rate cuts, which is 100% lock, in my view, before he announced more tariffs, um, you will be forced to subsidize the stock market even further. You will. And believe me when I tell you this. Although your 401k plan might look good right now, you are not smart enough. You're not smart enough. I don't care how smart you may think you are. You are not smart enough to get your cash out of, that, out of this market at the right time. It's always the smart money out the door first. That's the truth. And then the middle class, the people with the 401ks, the people with the uh, accounts that only make money when stocks go up literally get stuck holding a bag of stinking dog shit at the end of it all. That's the truth. Um, so don't think you're that smart because I can promise you you're not smart enough to get out on time. Uh, so with that said, you can almost kiss most of that money away um, when this all corrects to fair value, you're not going to know what happened to you. That's how fast it's going to happen. Did you see the market today when we went from a 300 point gain to the negative? It took a matter of seconds. Okay. That's what's going to happen when this corrects to fair value. It will be so rapid and the bond market could not be screaming louder. Uh, on top of the round after round after round of bad economic news coming down the pike. I've explained to you that the gap between the economy and the stock market is going to continue to get wider. Well, I think I nailed that one pretty good. And everything I've just said to you in this video is a 100% fact. I, I, I dare any one of you to, to disprove one single thing I said, because um, this is all factual. Uh, I'm not beating up on anyone, but the president here is using you. And I hope you're smart enough to see that you are nothing but a pawn. You don't matter in this environment. All right, with that said, um, 
Take advantage of this. I can't stress it enough. Everything you need is on my website for you. Uh, and it's all free. It's all freaking free. So it's a resource that I hope more of you start to utilize. Um, anyway, with that said, see you tomorrow. Watch this video several times if you have to. Let these concept, concepts sink in and share this video. Please, I'll see you tomorrow.